a new day, a new project. And here we have some AB IoT 443 megahertz. You know, this patches been used for uh, donor boards fixing some other ABs in problem. Okay, the point is what I'm trying to show you today is that the Eric part of this ones it's still working absolutely well. And uh, how can we put them back to life for Eric's only for reception? It's very simple. So these boards, they've been used like donor boards for ABs, which been supplied with 12 volts. And uh, the first thing what is burning, let's say burning, it's this circuit up here. One, two, three. All right. What I found, if we have a connection, let's call it pin one there on the left. It's almost like a transistor. Let me have my milliamp meter here. And I have my 5 volts supplying right here. Let's power it on. Okay. And like I said, we have the plus going from this big capacitor to this pin over here. So let's say one, two, three take it uh, okay so if we make a short from one to two look there we have power of course this one is missing the rf transistor the power transistor for tx so this one is the single one missing all right i came with an idea instead of having a short over there I'm going to use a diode and this is absolutely okay because in the same time not only provide a protection against reverse polarity but it's also coming down with the current and the voltage so the diode should be with the mark this way okay so if we have diode is in the place black is minus let's have a fact if we just connect this for a very good rx amplifier for helium lora one and you know helium gateways and so on Okay, let's put the things together again and it's working. All right, I have to prepare a PCB for having the support for this one. So that's how a base PCB is looking like, you see, the holes are already there. So here I'm going to have all these connections for, uh, for the connectors. No antenna in, antenna out, and power in and power out. So uh, this somehow it's a replica to the original air body amplifier. It's a very simple PCB board like this. And uh, I don't waste my time to, to have another, you know, fancy design. And uh, I just simply use my screwdriver, you know, to to dig all these traces around. Be sure, and I can tell you from my experience, it's not affecting with nothing. It's not affecting the workability of the amplifier. All right? So now I have to put all the things together to make the connections, you know, wires and solderings and of course RPSMA connectors. As long as I'm here, let's measure the standby current. By the way, k have a lot of new stuff on their web page. I'm using their 
smart meters like this one km601 which is great by the way and uh, you can order from the link above in the description with a discount let's measure the current so this is around 15.516 milliamps you know what that means it's almost 10 times lower than CPF 5189 amplifier yeah so both amplifiers are uh, properly fitted with connectors and now let's have a final test nano VNA saver of course power on and let's see 820 megahertz to 900 and we should take a look at 868 and we have minus 3.679 amplifier number one minus 3.679 okay let's print this out in the meantime let's do some numbers here so we have the attenuator it's 19.8 okay minus 36 that we have an amplification of 16.2 db for number one this is really really great okay that's for number one let's test number two power on so this one has a 6.491 6.491 and that means around 13 dB amplification I was expecting that because this amplifier still have all that chain of capacitor resistors and uh, coils and um, that one puts a little attenuation on the way but it's still a uh, 13 db amplification which is great okay that's it for today i hope you understand how to use this kind of patches they are cheap they are much better than cpf 5189 and uh, they can be so easy transform in really nice reception helium amplifiers thank you for now please like please subscribe i want to have your comments and if there are any questions i will do my best to answer them in the meantime don't forget have some fun too bye bye